Hey folks, this is Jake at Canadian Cutting Edge. I've got an unboxing video coming up, but before I get to that, just a little announcement. Every month, I give away a knife. One of the knives or any products that I've reviewed in the previous month to my Patreon supporters. If you join me in uh, working together to try to get good reviews out to people, especially on budget knives, <clears throat> you can join me on Patreon. Pledge as little as $2 a month or anything more. And at the end of every month, your name will be put into a draw and uh, one of the people wins their choice. I do sometimes hold back some items, you know, if I get them, especially for a gift that I'm planning for somebody or whatever, but often none. And this month for February 2019, I'm holding back nothing. The winner gets to pick anything. Maybe an Intrigue F45 by Steel Will. Anything that I reviewed in February is fair game. So the way I do this is I wait until Patreon has processed all the payments and then I get the list from them of all the people who supported me that month. This month there were 31. I go to Google and I, well, on a Google search bar, I just type in random number and they've got this little widget that pops up and you can select any number between one and, and then you pick I put in 31 because there was 31 supporters. And then there's a big blue generate button. You click it and a random number comes up. 23 this time. So I counted down 23 spaces and Michael M from uh, Oro, Oro, Ontario. I've been in that region a few times. Beautiful part of Ontario. Uh, but Oro, Ontario, he wins. I've emailed him already a list of all the options that he can choose from and that's just great to all of my patreon supporters thank you thank you very much it really does make a difference in having this channel be able to make it through each month it's really close touch and go and you guys make it happen thanks to everybody who lets any of my any of the advertisements play when my videos come up you, if you let those play that helps me just you don't have to just if you want to Clicking on my links, buying from my links, that helps me out too. Even if, like on White Mountain Knives, where I don't get any uh, money back, no re no uh, kickback or anything from White Mountain Knives, he gets to know that the relationship that we have together is good for both parties. So, without further ado, let's get to that unboxing for you. Hey folks, this is Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge. And I've got some knives in this box here. Well, this package, this box is in it. Two different knives. And they're from a company that a number of you guys have been asking me about. Uh, the prices for their budget versions or line of their knives is just slightly above that range that I tend to work with, at least in 2019 for this channel. So they're just a little bit more than that. But I did say I was going to review a few knives that are a little more costly than your baseline budget, $50 US and less. These are just a little bit more than that. And uh, for the retail, for the full retail price, uh, I got them at a discount from the American distributor. So I'd like to show these to you. Let's unbox it right now. So I've reviewed the Tuya Bruiser already on this channel. And that's the only other Tuya knife that I've done. So uh, I've been looking forward to this myself. We've got, uh, he sent me a couple extras as well. Oh, maybe not. Extra things. Here's the one extra thing, a nice microfiber cloth. There's your Tuya knife logo, the letter T, stylized. And this one's in a box. So uh, let's do the zipper package one second. Ho, ho, ho. Nice boxes. I like the texture they put on them. Uh, it's actually just a really nice box. This guy, there you go, there's an extra pocket clip they, they gave me, uh, one in each color. Uh, I don't think everybody gets that. I think that was a special generosity for me. This is the talisman in black. Now let's turn some more lights on here. Oh, that's better. Isn't that better? I think that's better. So this is the talisman and uh, these Ziploc bags thick plastic. Those are worth keeping for sure. So a highly molded G10 handle scale, slightly inset from the liners. 
thick and heavy duty pieces of metal, but not too heavy. Uh, let's see. Is that? I'll have to double check. It looks like it's titanium, but it feels like it might be too heavy to be titanium. Why don't I remember? But we've got OS 10. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to get this. I have, not, yeah, one of them. I have no other knives that have OS 10 except for a couple of kitchen knives. So this is my first uh, AUS 10 uh, sort of just regular folding knife. So uh, there's that. The uh, detent ball is just visible in there, at least to me. It looks like it's ceramic. I think the ball bearings in here are probably ceramic as well. It's got a hidden stop pin. So the stop pins inside the uh, rotating mechanism of the steel going back and forth. You can just see the detent ball sticking out right there during the motion. So one side only pocket clip and you've got the choice between a silver or a black one. Very nice. Flipper tab has got a section leaned back already. Nice action. I like that. Lockup's nice. Quite comfortable. I like that. AUS 10. Thanks for showing up. There we go. Let's put this guy up here. This is going to be the Cebu. Because those are the two knives I asked for. Oh, maybe this pouch is an extra thing that he sent me. And here's who you can get in contact with. And I'll put this information uh, down below in the um, in the video description as well. But Okay, so let's open this guy up, the Cebu. And we've got the Cebu in green. And this one's just got a regular package. Different materials. This is a small company. They don't have an awful lot of knives out there. And they've got low production numbers right now. And uh, that's one of the reasons why their prices are just a little bit higher than some other knives. But when you get low production, you often get things like this. Very nice little touches. So we've got these sort of copper anodized screws. Copperized or anodized in some way. I like that backspacer with the lanyard hole back there. Just coming out ever so slightly instead of a whole lot like a lot of knives do. That have a backspacer like this. They have a... That's just nice. And this milled pocket clip. That looks awesome. Beautiful, beautiful pocket clip. Lockup is almost perfect, exactly where I like a brand new knife to be. Nice skeletonizing in those liners. They're highly polished on the inside, very light reflective in there. On the top, they're inset. And on the bottom, yeah, they're inset all the way around. That's nice. Forward choil. Worn cliff tip on here. I think that's a flat edge. Yeah, that's a flat edge. The cutting edge. This one's a bit lighter than the talisman. Yeah, it's a fair bit lighter than the talisman. I got... Uh, Klaus here. I got one pouch. I've got two knives to look at and I'll be reviewing these. With all the knives that I got recently, I don't know if I'll get both of these done in March. Probably not, but I'll get at least one of these reviewed in March. Which one of these two knives are you most interested in? The Talisman or the Cebu? Which one do you want reviewed before the other? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Remember guys, always cut towards your chum.